Hi, my name is Josiane. I'm a PhD student at the Lisbon University Institute in Portugal, and I am an early stage researcher at the Team Up 5G project, which has a partnership with the Telecommunication Institute in Lisbon. This program is one of the many reactions describing the Horizontal 2020 European Union Research and Innovation Program. Today, I will talk about relaying drones in the 5G communication system. The content of this presentation will be drones future applications, what ha is happening regarding integration between 5G communication system and the aircraft system. Then I will present two possible applications of drones in 5G system and some benefits of using relay with drones. On the following, I will talk about relaying well-known methods using 4G communications and the state-of-the-art research on drones as relay. Finally, I will talk about ongoing research on drones relay algorithms. So, let's get started! Unnamed aerial vehicles of drones may perform a central role in providing network service for several fields in future networks. Starting from low cost, low energy and small data volume from huge amounts of connected devices such as we see in logistics, smart, smart agriculture, communication assistant and tracking, until the ultra reliable very low latency, very high availability networks, such what we see in virtual and artificial reality deployments, traffic safety and control, emergencies and others. It will occur mainly due to the drone's flexibility, autonomy, lower operational and maintenance costs. Regarding integration of 5G with the aircraft system, European Union have created the program named U-Space to establish rules of drones operation and management in commercial uses. Also, European Union defined the regulation 947 from 2019 related to the topic. This program is similar to the unnamed aircraft system traffic management UTM from USA. The project aims to use the mobile network defined in 3GPP to provide UAV data and UAV controller identification in the network. Some parameters defining the standards will be the model, serial number, takeoff weight, position, owner identification, owner contact details, owner certification, and many others. Identification and tracking of UAV are important parameters for cases that drones pass the beyond visual line of sight, BVLOS, and it's connected to the network. Also, the centralized cases and some requirements related to security and protection of owner data are predicted in the standardization. 3GPP have several standards and studies regarding unnamed aerial systems, such as what we see on the left side of this presentation. All of them are related to networks that we use now in future applications. Now I will talk about two possible applications for drones in 5G systems. The left side figure shows a fragment of the core system with emphasis on base station and its connections to the 5G network. There is an effort to split control and user planes. The separation is made using different protocols in both parts. For example, XNC and SCTP stream control transmission protocol are used to send data in the control plane. And XNU and GPRS tunneling protocol user plane, GTPU, in the user plane. Drones could be used as small cells in 5G providing connection to the UEs, UAV controllers, other drones and other devices in the network. In fact, many research present studies on these topics. The main constraint is the connection between the core and the UAV, followed by the question on how to increase battery duration in the drone. There 
right figure shows relaying uses in 5G communication system. The basic idea is to connect devices by extending coverage in the cell edge cases and use fiber connections to communicate with the core. My focus will be on this part. Now I will talk about relaying benefits using drones. Drones could pr provide flexibility in the 5G communication system, take advantage of less power consumption and connectivity, and make it easier to reach places and situations that somehow is hard to attain, like emergencies. Drones production are easier, fast and cheaper when compared with the telecom infrastructure. It's possible to extend coverage and enhance capacity of the network using drones as relaying. Also, low power used in relays could be beneficial in drones in order to save battery. Relaying techniques are not new. Repeater strategies were standardized in 3GPP in LTE Release 8. In this case, the use technique was amplifying forward the signal to the destination as we can see in the picture. The IAF strategy has low demand on processing hardware than the upcoming fixed decode and forward. However, a drawback of this simple transmission protocol is identified. In this signal amplification, perpendicular noise at the relay is also amplified. Other methods such as decoding forward were standardized in 3GPP in LTE release 10. It supports one hop relay technology with using fixed relay in stations and radio access links. Hybrid incremental selective adaptive relaying schemes have been studied since then. The state-of-the-art research on drones as relaying cells shows studies on the following topics. Fairness related to the main network. Fairness related to the relaying schemes usually refers to the bandwidth used for relaying and its impact is on the user close to the access point. Trajectory optimization and power allocation. In this situation, the UAV is, is able to adjust its position and transmit power according to the user's trajectories, increasing the overall transmission signals in the network. Multi-UAV relay system. In this case, multi-UAVs have certain formations, where UAVs with different tasks have several transmission requirements. Source UAVs equipped with multi-radio can select more than one relay radios to achieve high data rates and each relay radio can be shared with multiple source UAVs. Relay selection in drone swarms. Relay selection techniques invite to select the smallest number of relay nodes and at the same time ensures an appropriate operation of the network. UAV as cluster head connected to the cloud. On the figure on, on the left, a C-run framework located in the cloud aided by the high-speed links is used to control relay nodes known as front hall links between the cloud and the BS. Centralized and decentralized schemes. Considering agility, Existing research suggests that the centralized relay selection and D2D communication increase control overhead and introduce additional delays, whereas the distributed schemes is an obvious preferred due to agility, independence and practicality. However, centralized processing facilitates interference suppression in wireless links and may be also adopting UAV networks. In this way, the current strategy is not clear regarding centralized and decentralized schemes. Considering the ongoing research related to drones relay algorithms, the figure on the left shows an application of graph theory. In this case, devices 
in the proximity establishes communication links and autonomously communicate, creating a graph. Communication ties with trust and culminate in a reliable relay communication, which extend 5G networks coverage and capacity. And the figure on the right presents a distributed game model constructed to self-organize resource in multi-channel, multi-radio UAV relaying communications to minimize channel access problems in UAV relay swarms. Finally, considering relay using cloud, a protocol was developed for multi-antenna relay systems with drones we choose the best link among pairs of UAV sources and UAV relays in order to optimize the peak envelope power, bit error rate, average delay and maximum minimum distance comp computation rate performances. Thank you for your attention. Have a great day. Bye bye.